in this video I want to show you how I make one of my cutout projects. I wanted to make some of these cutouts for uh, my grandkids. <clears throat> so what I start doing is I find them first. Uh, this one was an ecstasy. Somebody was selling this frog for $23.50. Well, I didn't want to buy it. Just want to make it. <clears throat> so I pull it up on my screen. And then I go down. <clears throat> to mine is FN next to the control key on the left. And print screen up above. And I hit those two keys. And that will print this whole screen. Now, the next I go to is this Corel Photo House 2. I love to use this program for everything. I go to it. Alright, now let's start all over again. I click on Corel Photo House 2. Open it up. I go up in this top hand, left hand corner and I open up a blank new document. And I say open. And I shrink that down so it's out of the way. Then I go up in the top hand corner to edit. Click on there and I say go to paste. And I say a new document. Now <clears throat> I got this frog. Uh, let me open up the frog to the full size. <clears throat> I go up to the box up here and it's got click rectangle. That lets me rectangle out what I want to copy. I click on up on the top again and say copy. Click on that edit and go down to paste and new new document. <clears throat> now I can print this out, but I don't like to waste ink. So what I do is go over here to the little one with a fill bucket and I click there. I go down to colors, go all the way up and I go to a clear color. And then I go down and say done. Now what it is is I dump a bunch of paint there, 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 there. See, I'm getting rid of all of that that I don't really need. Now, I got all of this. I don't really want all of that. So I'm going to click there, 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 and there, and there. And get rid of most of that color, but I still want to leave the lines it so I can see where it's divided up. Okay. Now, I got it fairly good, but I still want to get rid of some of that that I don't need. So I go over to the eraser and I can erase more that I don't need. Now, <clears throat> this program, if you found you erased too much, you can go back up to edit up there and you see it says undone erase tool. It'll just bring it right back. So you can go over if you goofed it up and you can correct it, as long as you don't take your finger off of it. And what it is is I'll go in here too and I'll save more ink. Like I say, all I really want is that outline where I got a cut. Ah, this is a frog with a baby out the back of it. Alright, like I say, 
<clears throat> more I can erase here, the more ink I can save. Uh, yeah, I didn't like what I did there. Back up the edit, do it and erase. Down, do that again. Get rid of a little something there. One thing I want to do is the size of this. Now you go up and you click on it, edit up on the top left, and go down to image properties. Right off the bat, you click on maintain ratio. Now this drawing is height of three and 0.4 inches and 4 inches wide. Yeah, I want to go around 5 inches wide. Alright, and then I go down to the bottom and click on done. And the next thing I do, I, cl I click over on file and I say print and OK. And it's printing. <clears throat> Next, I go on file and say save as. Now I come in here and say frog. I hit save and it's saved. I got a seated board here, three quarters of an inch thick. I don't know where I got it from, but all right, what it is is. I cut uh, the piece of paper so it just has the animal shape on it. Got a camel rubber and vinyl spray adhesive. I spray it on the board comes out kind of thick so I got a putty knife I just ran over it to level it out a little bit. Then I'll take the frog and paste it down on it. And I'll let it set up. Now what I used to do in the old days was I had a lot of carbon paper. I'd put a piece of carbon paper over it and then go over the lines. But I found this just works just as well. All I got to do is sand the paper off when I'm done. All right, I'll let that set up and then I'll uh, first I'll cut it out on the bandsaw to the rough shape. And even some of it I can cut on the bandsaw. I'll do that on the bandsaw now using the bandsaw. And then uh, show it how it looks as we go along. All right, here's the frog cut off from the bandsaw. What it is is, what I can sand, I'll sand on the sander. And any of these lines like the mar mouth and all of that, I use the bandsaw because it's a little bit bigger. Next, I'm going to use the jigsaw. Cut the pieces out. I go with a pencil. If the line isn't defined enough for me to follow. And now I'll cut out all of these separate pieces. And I got a dog head I got a car cut out. Oh, ah, I forgot I got to drill the two eyes out. Hold on. Alright. There's all the pieces cut out on a jigsaw. They all come apart. They slip together. Now what I got to do is I got to sand the paper off the front and sand the back of it. Everything's nice. Sand all the edges. And then I'm just going to... I don't know what I'm going to spray them with. Maybe I got some clear paint. I'll just spray them with the clear paint. Hey, this is what I cut them out on. And the other little thing I made made this a lot better. It just had plastic on here. And it wasn't sturdy enough, so I made this configuration up so it would hold it down tighter and better. All right, I'll show you what, what I'm, when they're done. 
All right, I got all these pieces cut out. What I did next was I set up my old cheapy router from Harbor Freight and I took a, a rounding bit I had and just sort of just ground a small little radius on the end of it. Sort of screwed it up just for this. Screwed a base, another base on there so I could just punch it through. So the only thing I got sticking through is that cutter edge and the round end to guide. Then I could take my little pieces and just go right around. Run around and, and round off uh, the edges. I don't know how much you can see here of it. So little pieces that stand out a little more distinctly. Now hit them with a little fine sandpaper on the edge, and then I'll show you what's next. All right, here's the finished pieces. Here's the elephant. There's the dog. Froggy. Rabbit. The dolphins. And like I say, bubbling the edge that little bit made these the design stick out a lot better. <clears throat> now, my blade wasn't real sharp, so at some points, the blade wasn't up and down, square. So what happens is, <clears throat> some of these pieces fit together. See, that doesn't fit right there, so you gotta come on. And Fit it from the top. There's little angles, uh, slight angles, <clears throat> but they all fit together. Wood looks nice, aromatic cedar. All right, that's the end of that project.